Hi, I'm uh, Dave Stoop, and I'm sitting here with Steve Arterburn, and we're the uh, co-editors of the Life Recovery Bible. And we've been talking with you about the steps, and today we're looking at step 12. And step 12 is really the, the journey forward. Uh, we've, we've gone through the, uh, the surrendering of the steps 1, 2, and 3, and then we looked at a journey inward to where we did a lot of self-examining in steps 4 through 7. And then the journey outward where we started to take what we've seen in ourselves and make amends, the, the journey outward, uh, 8, 9, and 10. And then the journey upward in our relationship with God. And now it's the journey forward. Mm -hmm. Where do we go from here? How do we keep this alive? A lot of these steps are designed to keep it alive. But now it's you know saying that uh, we've had this spiritual awakening. Uh, it's, and and that's, that's an interesting point. It's a spiritual awakening that we've had. Uh, we now want to carry this out and help other people. Right. We want to extend it and expand it to others. Well, when we talk about spiritual awakening, we're talking about going from just being conscious of the physical realm uh, or our emotional realm and truly uh, connecting with God and de developing within ourselves uh, the spiritual mm -hmm. and integrating the spiritual into all of our lives. And uh, it's so powerful uh, when we have the spiritual awakening because that enables us to practice these principles that we've been through in all of our affairs. Mm -hmm. And I want to caution folks that go to a meeting, have a great experience, and you go home and you kick the dog or you, you're yelling <laughs> at the kids or the spouse. That's not practicing this in all your affairs. Well, and it, and it goes beyond just that. You know, it's practicing it it becomes a way of life yes what it's saying but it's also out of a out of a sense of gratitude for what god is doing in my life that i now want to be able to take it to other people and share that with them and help people who maybe where i was uh and and draw them into the same healing process that i've just experienced that's that gratitude we talked about uh with the last step there's a sense of gratitude that 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 wells within me that mm -hmm. says out of my out of my thankfulness, I, I want to tell you what God is doing in my life, yeah. and, and it's powerful. Let me read the scripture. It's Galatians 6, 1. It says, Dear brothers and sisters, if another believer is overcome by the same sin, you who are godly should gently and humbly help that person back onto the right path. And be careful not to fall into the same temptation yourself. So mm -hmm. whether it's the 12 steps or uh, the Bible that the 12 steps are built upon, uh, we're called to help other people to reach. And, and really, yeah. that is what it's I call... It's a biblical principle. It's the missional life, to mm -hmm. get ourselves on mission. Uh, there, we're not just surrendering, we're not just making up for the past, but we're taking all that's happened, all that we've learned, and now we have a mission to help other people. And that's where life fulfillment comes. You, you've always said, turn your misery into a mission. That's right. And uh, that's what you're saying now, is that this becomes uh, a way to transform what, what I have done in the past and to turn it into something that is redemptive, yeah. that begins to bring healing and wholeness and hope to someone else who is caught in the same place. And, and that verse says, you know, be careful not to fall into temptation yourself. But I, I found in talking with people who have lived out this step, is that that's part of how they stay on track is by being available to help others who are start having the same struggle that they, they've had. That's right. And that keeps them in the process. That keeps them focused. It's not something that they're afraid is going to hook them back into an old way of life. By the time you get to this step, there's, there's enough strength and enough uh, stability if you've really done them seriously that uh, this becomes another means of supporting and and uh, under undergirding the healing yes. process and carrying the message uh, can also mean that you sponsor someone that yeah. you you really do help them get the truth or the message of these steps and the message of the biblical foundation underneath every one of these steps i got a young man who just got his his sponsor and he's been uh, sober for a couple months and uh, his sponsor said, here's my number, it's 24-7. If I'm not available, here's my sponsor's number. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's available to you as well. You know, that's so it was good. a package deal. But that's, that's part of their healing, 
and and uh, they they have understood that, and that's that's the continuation of the process. You know, as we uh, close this up and with our twelfth step, I I want to reassure people. Uh, about the biblical foundation of the 12 steps and uh, most everyone is familiar with Dr. Bob as one of the founders of AA working with uh, Bill W and I was able to hear the transcript and I actually have a copy of the transcript of the last speech that Dr. Bob ever gave publicly and he said that we got the steps out of the good book (laughs) and he said specifically there were three places that he believes most of the principles of the 12 steps come from. And if you know these passages, then you can see why. It was uh, the book of James, uh, the uh, 1 Corinthians 13, the love chapter, and the Sermon on the Mount. Sermon on the Mount, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's the foundation for the steps. You don't need to worry that if you're working these steps, you're working something that is outside or beyond the Bible. It's right there in Scripture. Well, and we gave a verse for each one, but that's just the beginning. There's... uh, uh, you know, in the Bible, there's seven devotionals on each step from a different yeah. passage. Then we have a devotional, the Life Recovery devotional book that has 30 right. devotions on each step coming from 30 different places in the Scripture. So yeah. it's it's all through the Scripture, and there's, there's sound uh, biblical principles for how to live our lives. We're just grateful that they chose the Life Recovery Bible as a tool for their recovery. It's exactly. one of the, the greatest honors of our lives. It sure is.